Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode uh, July 5 and 6 for my gems, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. If you have questions about getting a personal reading, check the description box, please and thank you. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What are the messages for my Geminis? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please and thank you. All right, one more shuffle, Gem. Let's see. All right, where are the, oh, okay, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could be dealing with a relationship. Of course, rules, regulations, restrictions, tradition. All right, let's keep going. We have the Knight of the Knight of Wands. All right. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, so it looks like you are on your way to church or you're on your way to see a Taurus. I'm not seeing your energy yet. Okay, here you are, Page of Swords. But it almost looks like something is happening in succession is what I'm getting. Is that the word? Yeah. It's almost like you're watching like you're watching someone watch somebody else is what I'm is what I'm hearing seeing here the six of pentacles we have the death card okay now we have a Scorpio showing up out of nowhere and then we have the uh higher we have an Aries Emperor so I'm getting yeah we have the chariot so you could be traveling in a group this could be like a field trip or like a what is it like a road trip with you and someone else because I'm getting this is you up here saying look we're gonna do this we're gonna we're gonna go here we're gonna travel here this is the map okay so I'm getting like maybe you're planning a trip or you could be planning a wedding I don't know why I'm getting that but that it could be a lot of different things what is the death card though I'm getting you could be planning a funeral as well Okay, you're trying to figure out what church is going to be at, who's going to be the minister, who's going to who's going to read the eulogy, things like that. It's almost it looks like you are in charge of something, you're in charge of somebody's funeral, you're in charge of, you know, who pays for what. All right, you're kind of like running around with a chicken with your head cut off trying to figure out what you want to do here. What's the death card? What is the death card, please? Yeah, the temperance Sagittarius. So we have Sagittarius here twice. Yeah, I'm getting to a trip is getting canceled. Maybe you planned on doing something. You planned on going somewhere or maybe you planned on like going off and getting married, but I'm getting that's getting canceled or delayed. It's like you, but you have been waiting for something to end and I'm getting it's going to end, but I'm getting something has been like ongoing. I'm getting something has something is how do I put this where it makes sense to everybody else except for Gemini, right? Um, so it, I'm getting like something is already over, but you're just waiting for it to be finalized. It's almost like something was over before you knew it was over is what I'm saying here. It's like you just been you've been waiting for somebody to say, hey, it's over, but I'm getting it's been over. This situation has been over. It's been done. It, it, it died a long time ago, but for some reason you still you have been waiting or you have been keeping somebody waiting, like somebody wants to hear that it's the end and like, you know, it's over, <laughs> but it's, it's almost like you're waiting to tell somebody else that it is. What is the death card in the temperance? Or somebody is waiting to tell you that it's over. It could be a Sagittarius. All right. What's the death card in the temperance, please? Yeah. The, yeah. I'm getting like, you're, you're stringing somebody along. You're kind of playing with someone, Gemini. It's like, you already know this shit is over with, you know, you're not going to be in a relationship with this person, but it's like, you know what? I'm gonna make them wait a little bit. I'm getting like, you're okay. What's the page of swords? I'm getting, you're just, you just want to be an asshole because you can. <laughs> what is the page of swords, please? The page of swords. Now this could be about a job because we do have the emperor here. So I'm getting you've been planning on quitting your job. You've been planning on this maybe months, six months or more. You're like, you know what? This job is, okay, let's see. We have the nine of swords. Interesting. I was not expecting that to come out. Okay, so that's your energy though, Gemini. It looks like you're worried or nervous about something. There's like, I feel like something in your gut is like you have butterflies in your stomach or you're like something, I don't know. You are, it's like you're nervous about telling this person something. What's the nine of, what's the nine of swords? It's like you're worried about money here too. Now this could be someone that you are dealing with, a Sagittarius. It's like someone does not want to give you that closure. 
Somebody is afraid of you finding out about something or you finding the truth or something that you said to someone has somebody else scared or maybe something that you said has you a little bit nervous. Okay, what's the nine of swords? The nine of swords, please. I feel like you I feel like you're worried that something is going to end, but I'm I'm getting it's it's been over. What's this what's the nine of swords? Yeah, the yeah, the knight of cups. Okay, I'm getting two things. I'm getting that you're worried that something is going to end because you've been getting money out of this person, maybe child support. I'm getting somebody is afraid of you going to court or taking them to court because you have been giving them money. You've been supporting them, alimony, child support, whatever. Maybe just giving them money for rent or bills or just helping them out. It's like somebody is very nervous about you making an offer towards somebody else or it's like somebody is afraid of you giving your love away or you being in a committed relationship. I don't know why I'm hearing like prenup, if that's, if that's what you have with this person. What's the Hierophant first and foremost? What is the Hierophant? Hierophant, please. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. It's like somebody is worried about what you do for work. The, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody is worried that you're, I don't, it's like you're working it out with somebody else or you're putting in time and energy to, to another person. Like somebody's worried about this. It's like somebody does not want to be your wife or somebody does not want to be tied down, but they also do not want you wifing somebody else or being somebody else's husband. I'm getting like somebody's very selfish here when it comes to you or this is you. But I'm not sure why you have like this nine of swords energy. I mean, that is Gemini. That is the, the third deacon of your sign. We have the five of swords. It's like you're worried about somebody beating you or getting over on you. Yeah, you look, you seem to be very disappointed about this or somebody else's. What's the six of pentacles? Because I'm getting you have support from someone or someone else has support. And that's, it's like bothering someone that you have support, you have money. Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles, please? What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the, pay, the Queen of Wands. Somebody is really worried about you getting attention from someone else. Somebody's worried about you having support. It's like somebody, does, it's, it's like somebody wants you to be by yourself all on your own. But like somebody is like stringing you along. They don't, it's like they don't want something to change or they don't want something to end. But I'm getting, I'm getting you have been very patient with this whole situation or with this person. I'm hearing you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I'm not sure if that's for you or the person you're dealing with. I don't know where that came from. Okay, what's the Knight of Pentacles? Because it, it almost looks like you're, you know, you're trying here with the Queen of Wands. You're trying to turn like you're trying to turn the Knight of Wands into the Queen of Pentacles, which the Queen of Pentacles, she's domesticated. She's a housewife. She's a mother. OK, she's you know, she's tidy. She's caring, attentive, kind, all those things. And the the, the, the Knight of Wands is completely opposite from that. So it's, it's almost like you're trying to turn this person into the Queen of Pentacles. But all, all you get for your troubles is the Queen of Wands. They're, they're still very flirtatious and out there and kind of just I don't know. That's for some of you, though. What's the, what's the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here. So this could be children. Yeah, I'm getting like you want somebody to stay home. Maybe you want, you want, you want someone who wants children or you want, you want to domesticate someone who does not want to be domesticated. But this could be about a job. Like I said before, a job is over and you know that. But it's like you're waiting to tell this job that you're leaving. Maybe you're waiting for two weeks or maybe you're going back to work. What is the, t the emperor? The emperor, please. I'm, a I'm also getting to there's somebody out there who wants you to stop doing what you do for work. Like somebody wants you to stop whatever you're doing for work. Somebody is not pleased. Okay, what's the emperor? Either somebody wants you to completely stop or slow down. Okay, what is the emperor, please? 
Okay, the will of fortune. Yeah, but I'm getting the will of fortune is in your favor. There's going to be a shift in events here. Okay, what's the what is the will of fortune, please? What is the will of fortune? Okay, we have the ace of swords, the two of swords, and the judgment. So you have been if you have been waiting on someone to call you or some type of judgment, it's go, I'm getting you're gonna get that judgment. I'm getting two. Someone is going to call you, possibly an air sign. Someone's gonna call you and make an announcement or remind you of something like, hey, I just wanted to call you and let you know that you have to do this and that and the third. You have to come in on this day. Give me something for this combination, please, for Gemini. This could be your job calling you back, a job that you left, maybe a job that you have been waiting for. I'm getting somebody is calling you like somebody has someone. A decision has been made because I'm getting you weren't expecting this at all. This is like something that's unexpected. The will of fortune, it represents like a shift or something that has been ongoing for like a year or more. An entire cycle it has been ongoing, but I'm getting I'm getting somebody. A decision has been made and you're going to get a call. OK, what's the judgment? Yeah, we have that. We have that star card. Yeah, you're going to I'm getting a situation is going to be healed. Your, your faith is going to be restored. I'm getting you're going to feel very inspired after this. It's finally going to be over. I'm getting you're getting that call that somebody is better. Somebody is healed. It's over. They're, they're well now. OK, it could be a call from an from an Aquarian. One more card. What's the star? I'm getting you've been waiting on this call. So you've been waiting on somebody to decide what they want to do. I'm getting you've already made up your mind, but you're waiting on this person to decide what they want to do. Okay, what's the star card? This could be a job uh, in a healthcare facility. Maybe you, um, doctor, nurse, healer, something like that. And they're calling like, look, we choose you for the job. We, you know, we liked your resume or something like that. Or, you know, come on in. You can start in two weeks or whatever. Or somebody is better. Somebody is healed. Okay, what is the star? Yeah, the three of pentacles. Somebody wants to work together. This is your energy, Gemini, to me, even though it's an earth sign. It could be an earth sign calling you. Somebody wants to heal a situation. Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to meet up with you. This could be a meeting amongst friends, like minds, you know, setting things up for this job or this, this new position. I'm getting you're meeting your colleagues or you're meeting your roommates or you're meeting the people that you're going to be working around. Okay, but something is going to work out for you. The Ten of Cups, yeah, you're going to be fine. I'm getting at first you were worried, but I'm getting this is, you were worried about this. But I'm getting it's going to turn out just, just perfect. Okay, let me see. Give me some Love Oracle cards for Gemini, please. Love Oracle cards for Gemini. Yeah, we have it's safe for you to love. Okay, so I'm getting if somebody is calling you, it's okay for you to trust them. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, love, trust, honesty. Okay, and we have calling your summit. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to call you on the phone or you're calling someone and it's safe for you to call them. It's okay. You don't have to be nervous or afraid or anxious or anything. Okay, I'm getting this person has been waiting on your call. Or maybe you've been waiting on theirs and I'm getting you are going to get that call. Maybe you've just been waiting on someone to call you a job. Okay. You, I'm getting you are going to get that call though. And we have romantic feelings. Yeah. You're going to be fine, Gemini. We have very soon. Everything is going to work out perfectly is what I'm getting here. All right. So really good reading. Don't forget to like the video. Leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.